Greetings from CI Live in Denver, Colorado. I'm Mark LaLiberté with Construction Instruction. And welcome to today's session on balanced ventilation systems brought to you by Brown. Now, balanced ventilation systems, such as heat recovery ventilators, HRVs, or energy recovery ventilators, ERVs, can easily be installed using the house's existing HVAC duct system as a means to distribute the fresh air. Now, this process can reduce energy demand while maintaining a safe and comfortable moisture balance and providing a source of continuous, fresh, filtered air for the occupants. However, before planning this upgrade project, there are a few considerations that must be made. Now, let's review a checklist of considerations before installing a new ventilation system. First, the ventilation device must be located in an area where the temperature remains between 50 degrees and 104 degrees Fahrenheit. The installation location should account for any noise considerations like sleeping rooms or family rooms. The installation location must allow for service access as much as possible and limit overall duct length, routing issues, and any obstacles. Select an appropriate installation method, return to return, return to supply, or a dedicated return system, and there'll be more on this shortly. The location of the power outlet for the unit a drain location, if required, primarily used for an HRV. The location of the exterior air inlet, especially the distance from any other exhaust source. Now let's review the equipment selection, parts and tools needed to successfully complete the installation. Choose the equipment's ventilation capacity for the specific house size, number of bedrooms, and occupants. Unit configuration, top or side port model, based on installation location and duct routing configuration. Controls required, timer, humidistat, smart controller, or compatible existing controls. Insulated flexible ducts between the unit's stale air exhaust and the fresh air intake. Exterior hoods with insect screens or an engineered integrated tandem hood. Manometer or pressure gauge to balance the system and other miscellaneous contractor tools. The intake and outlet of a balanced ventilation system require an area on the exterior of the building to exhaust stale air from the house and bring in fresh air from outdoors. It is important to identify a location for the fresh air intake that is at least 10 feet from any combustion exhaust outlet and at least six feet from any other exhaust air location, including the stale air exhaust from the balanced ventilation device. Additionally, Brown has developed a unique two-in-one intake and exhaust hood for use with lower flow HRVs and ERVs, less than 110 CFM, that combine both the fresh air intake and the stale air exhaust into one six-inch penetration. This engineered solution is manufacturer approved and eliminates the need for a second wall penetration. Now let's discuss the three typical installation options for balanced ventilation systems. In all of these examples, we're going to use the existing ductwork to deliver the fresh air throughout the house. In this first detail, a dedicated return duct or ducts will be added to pull air from the main body of the house, usually a hallway or other open areas as shown in the details we see here. In this configuration, the fresh air supply is drawn in from outside, passed through the filter and heat exchange core, then delivered into the return air duct of the air handler. The air then proceeds through the air handler and the filter to be distributed throughout the house. The air handler fan can be set to run in sync with the balanced ventilation system for the best distribution efficiency of fresh tempered air. Another installation option is to integrate both the supply and the return of the balanced ventilation system into the HVAC duct system, eliminating the need for installing a dedicated return duct. In this case, the stale air is drawn from the HVAC return air ductwork. The preconditioned fresh outside air is introduced into the HVAC supply air duct. As we see in this diagram, it is important to keep the return side connection to the balanced ventilation system at least 10 lineal feet from the air handler fan. Additionally, an elbow needs to be placed into the supply air duct, pointing downstream to reintroduce the fresh air. Now these inclusions are to aid in the balancing the unit, as the air handler fan is typically running in concert with the ventilation system. 
A third effective installation option, depending on the available exposed ductwork, is to connect both the stale air return and the fresh air supply to the HVAC return ductwork. Now again, no connections should be made within 10 feet of the air handler fan, and a minimum of three feet should separate the two connections. Now one advantage of this simplified option is that the fresh tempered air can be run through the air handler filter. As such, it is assumed that the air handler is running on low speed when the balanced ventilation system is operational. In summary, it is important to remember when evaluating ventilation options, it's important to determine the ventilation rates best suited for the house based on size and occupancy. Now, don't rely on natural or unintentional air leakage to provide fresh, acceptable air quality. Use balanced ventilation systems to provide fresh, preconditioned, filtered air as a preferred indoor air quality strategy. Consider equipment type, location, and control options. When it comes to installation, Keep it simple. Always balance the system. Measure and adjust the flow rates to the intended ventilation rates. This information is covered in the installation guide and balancing details are provided directly on the unit. It's really quite straightforward. Lastly, educate the homeowners about proper operation and maintenance of their HVAC equipment. Thank you for watching part one of this balanced ventilation series brought to you by Brown. In the next video segment, part two, we complete the installation of a balanced ventilation system in an existing house.